This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. We're going to solve this multiple angle trig equation and we're going to be using a calculator so make sure you have a scientific or graphing calculator with you. Find all values of x in degrees that satisfy this equation. Round degrees to the nearest tenth of a degree and then we're also going to state the values in degrees in this interval 0 to 360 degrees. Alright, so it's solved for tangent, right? But this isn't a special value, this negative 3.2, so we're going to have to use the inverse tangent. So remember what that means. If the tangent of this angle equals negative 3.2, then the angle, alright, which is 4x, is the inverse tangent of 3.2. Remember this is an angle. So if you put this in your calculator in degree mode, it will come out to an angle in degrees, but since it's negative, it'll be between negative 90 degrees and 90 degrees because that is the uh, range for the inverse tangent function. But we have to remember the tangent is, has a period of pi or 180 degrees, so to get all the possibilities we would have to add 180 degrees times k. Now this will give us all the solutions once we solve for x, um, which we're going to do, but then remember we're going to look for uh, which solutions are in between 0 and 360. Okay, so what do I do from here? I need to divide everything by 4 to solve for x. Keep in mind again this tangent inverse of 3.2. That is just something in degrees. Once you plug it in your calculator it's going to come up to something in terms of degrees. It is an angle. Okay now we've got to be really careful when you use your calculator when you do uh, this calculation here, this inverse tangent of 3.2. You might first want to just put the inverse tangent of 3.2, enter it, and then divide it by 4. Otherwise make sure you're using your um, parentheses carefully because we don't want to do 3.2 divided by 4. We want to first do the inverse tangent and then divide by 4. And then we're going to round that to the um, nearest tenth of a degree. So I have, when I plug that in, negative 18.2 degrees, and this isn't exactly equal because I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, plus, and what's 180 degrees divided by 4? That's 45 degrees K. So keep in mind this first angle, negative 18.2 degrees, is not in between 0 and 360, but this is a perfectly okay answer. This will give you all the possible answers where k is an integer. Sometimes people like this first number to be positive, so to get the first positive number you could just go over here and do, well what is 8, negative 18.2 plus 45? Okay, so you do that, and you could also just do that on your calculator if you add 45 and you're going to get 26.8. So another way you might write this is 26.8 degrees plus 45 degrees K. So either of these really do give you all the solutions to this problem, tangent of 4x equals negative 3.2. But now the question is what are the values in degrees between 0 and 360. Okay, well the first one would be 26.8, remember because if I subtract 45 I'd be at this negative angle. And so once you have that, once you have 26.8, then you just add 45 to get another one, and that would be 71.8 degrees. It's still less than 360, and then you would just add 45 again to get the next one, which is 116.8 degrees. Then you would just add 45 again until finally you can't 
uh, get anything you know what once you get up to 360 you're done so in other words just keep doing this add 45 add 45 and get them all so we're at 206.8 degrees I'm doing this in real time I'm adding 45 in my calculator over and over 25 251.8 degrees and I think what happens if I add 45 again Twin, uh, whoop, running out of space let's see make this a little bit smaller so I can get all the values in on one line. All right, so 296.8 degrees, add 45 again, 341.8, I think that's it. I think if you add any more, you're going to be um, too high up. So let's see the last one and hopefully you can see that so I ended up with one two three four five six seven eight there's eight solutions between zero and three hundred and sixty degrees this is your math gal Julie Harland please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic